Hey everybody, welcome to Pet Services Pro, a show for you and your pets. Today, we're going to go over the 10 interesting facts about your dogs. Make sure you watch until the end because there's a bonus fact. You won't want to miss it. Feel free to leave a question in the comment section below. We love questions and we answer them. Dogs are friendly, beautiful, loving animals who we love to have in our life. Most of us go through our dog's life not knowing much about them. While we do appreciate them, love them, and enjoy them, how much do we really know about them? We just take their quirks for granted. They're just things our dogs do. But have you ever been curious why dogs do some of the things they do? Or how they know about people? Or why they get so excited to see someone when they aren't even here? Well, today I'm going to show you 10 interesting facts about your dog that you may not know. So let's get into it. 1. Dogs can see color. It's been a common misconception that dogs are colorblind. It was said because only seeing black and white enhances their ability to see contrast. But in reality, dogs can see color. They can see blue and yellow. There are receptors in both the human eye and the canine eye that shows the dogs see color. We humans have receptors to see blue, red, and yellow. Those combinations give us the ability to see all the colors we see. A dog only has the receptors to see blue and yellow, so these are the only colors they can see, but they still see color. Strangely, they cannot see green, which is the combination of blue and yellow. Interesting, huh? 2. Dogs have a very strong sense of smell. They naturally have long noses. The breeds with short faces, such as the pug for instance, is a human developed breed, not how a dog would be in nature. Because they have long noses, they have way more scent receptors than we do, so they can smell way better than us. They can smell you in your car 10 blocks away. That's why you see your dog start to get excited when another family member is coming home and they aren't even here yet. Pretty amazing. 3. Dogs don't sweat. They do not have sweat glands in their whole bodies like we do. They only have them on their paw pads and on their noses. That's why they pant so much when it's hot. That is their way of moving heat out of their body and keeping their tongues and noses wet to get cooler by refrigeration. If you see your dog is too hot, you can help him out if you put some rubbing alcohol on the pads of his feet. This will evaporate and make him feel cooler. Stay with him until it's dry. You don't want him to lick it off. If you find that your dog appears to have wet hair all the time and he's not getting into water anywhere, check with the vet. He may have a skin condition or other health concern. Another thing to consider is that dog's coats will help protect him from heat and sun. The coat insulates him from the strong sun rays and helps keep the heat away from his skin. So don't shave him thinking it will keep him cooler. It usually causes him to overheat instead. 4. Why dogs spin to make their bed? People have been debating this for a long time, but it is now believed that they spin a few times to make the bed comfortable. While canids spin to crush the tall grass down or make sure that the ground they will sleep on is safe and clean. And our domestic dog still does that and it helps them to get the blanket feeling the way they want it. Kind of like us fluffing a pillow. 5. Why they spin before pooping? Dogs spin for a couple of reasons. One, to pack down the grass so they have a more flat surface to poop on. This can possibly keep them from getting poop on his hair. It also helps to have a more definite area to leave his scent. It may also be easier for him to spread the scent when he kicks backwards when he's done. But the more interesting reason is that dogs can sense the north and south magnetic pull of the earth. Like birds, there's something in their heads that sense this and they'll spin to figure out the strength of the pull. Normally, they'll face either north or south when they're ready to eliminate. Take your phone with you and see what your GPS says next time you go for a walk and your dog spins. Is he facing north or south? They don't always do it, but the majority of the time they will. 6. A dog's nose has a unique print like we have a unique fingerprint. That just makes sense. Ever looked at your dog's nose? There are little ridges and valleys on their nose like our fingers have. It's not smooth, so how would they ever be the same as another dog's? 
So knowing that, could you take a nose print and be able to identify your dog if he gets lost? I'm just saying. Seven, dogs can smell heat. According to the American Kennel Club, they can detect heat with their nose. Since dogs do not have the best eyesight, they rely on their keen sense of hearing and smell. By being able to sense heat with their nose, they are better able to detect warm-blooded prey more accurately without having to see it. They can find it from farther away, too. Pretty amazing. 8. Dogs curl up in a ball when they sleep to protect their internal organs, according to the American Kennel Club. This makes sense because the abdominal area of most animals is a vulnerable place that would give a predator access to their internal organs. A dog will show submission by rolling over and exposing his belly. This means that he trusts that he won't be attacked by the alpha. A sleeping dog is at the mercy of predators because he's sleeping and not on alert. So curling up helps to protect his belly. His nose and ears are always at work though. He will wake up easily if there is trouble. This then creates another question. So why does my dog stretch out when he's been sleeping a while? They are in our house with us. They trust us and know they're not in danger. So when they get too hot, they'll stretch out and be comfortable. Nine, both your blood pressure and your dog's blood pressure go down when you pet your dog. They say that having a pet is healthy and petting your dog is good for both of you. Your dog loves being with you and being petted and paid attention to. They relax when they're spending time with you. And you are petting your dog, receiving their undivided attention. Did you notice that you feel much calmer and happier when you're petting your dog? You're not concerned about what's going on around you when you're doing this. If you were, you probably wouldn't be petting him. Petting an animal is very zen and really is relaxing. So do a lot of it. Your dog and your body will thank you. 10. Dogs kick backwards after eliminating to distribute scent, especially scents from glands in their feet. Ever seen your dog in the backyard kicking the grass? Doesn't make sense, does it? But dogs like to send their message to other dogs. This is one way of doing it. Urine and feces carry a lot of information about his age, gender, status, health, and so forth, so he wants to spread that around, especially if this is his territory. It may not be great for your lawn and it isn't fun to clean up, but it's what dogs do and is important to their communication system. A male dog lifting his leg sends messages via urine this way too. The object here is to elevate the scent so other dogs can read it. I'm glad we don't have to communicate this way. Bonus! 11. Bloodhounds Bloodhounds are so accurate at tracking scent that what they do and find is the only dog breed who is admissible in court. Wow, that's quite an accolade. They can even smell scents that are over 300 hours old. Their ears, eyes, noses, the wrinkles on their face, all are designed to stir up and hold scents so he can get a lot of information. They're wonderful, friendly dogs too. They just love their jobs. So. There you have it. Do you feel smarter? Do you understand your dog better now? Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos about taking care of your pets and much more. Check out the link in the description below for the things you should never feed your dog. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.